Hey, you guys, just are here with a video today on Ben's wheel. So I will be uh, releasing this wheel, hopefully today. But right now, I just want to uh, say a few words about the origins of this wheel. Um, I didn't lace this thing with a friend of ours. Uh, basically, right now, it's turned to shit. He's popped so many spokes. And due to a lot of things, you know, he, he is a pretty clean rider. He hasn't been putting the, the wheel through shit, but. There's some points I want to make here, okay? Now, this is a great example right here. Um, to begin, you know, you have two missing spokes right here. You have another one right here. When one spoke uh, pops, you know, the, the entire wheel is going to be affected. So everything on that side and even on the other side of uh, that wheel. So, you know, if you... If, wheel like this, see three in a row right here. A wheel like this, um, if it's gone this far, you know, if it's gone this far bad, you're missing that many spokes. Uh, you know, and then there's also, when it was laced, there's another reason why I'm redoing this. You can see right there, my camera focus, um, that spoke is too short. Okay, there were threads showing on a lot of these spokes when it was laced. And the kid who did it um, actually used different size spokes. That's no bueno, can't do that. Definitely don't do that. Definitely use all the same size or 99% or the same size. Um, you really need to do that. Um, another thing, what he did is let me try to find a spot I could show you. Um, okay, right here. So if you could see this little mark right there, right? Um, that's from, and you know what? I'm right here too. There's another mark right there. Okay, how that's indented right there. That's indented because there was an outbound spoke that got pushed into the hub shell right there, okay? Now, I can tell you with the way that that's facing, this little inbound right here in the center, that, when the wheel was originally laced, there was an outbound right there, and it went up this way, and that's what made that indent. Now, when it was relaced, um, the kid didn't pay attention to that and he put the outbound here so my bad so he's putting a lot more stress on that hub shell okay make it make the flange bend one way now you're making it bend the other way so if you do that um, you now I've seen some kids with the with the whole flange get blown out and uh, completely um, shot you know there's there's people out there with the whole flange uh, blown out but also um if part of the flange actually breaks off that's what you're doing wrong man you can't do that so definitely pay attention to any and all markings there are on uh on your hub shell okay see here's another example this right here this is a marking from outbound and um this wheel was laced and then you relaced it i'm pretty sure it's only been laced up twice the hub shell looks pretty good all right if you're concerned about uh markings on your hub if you think it's gone too far mm, check it out if anything send me a photo or something you know ask around because i've seen a lot in uh pretty bad condition this one's actually really good his spokes are actually in really good condition as well and I've gone through tons of wheels where I'm not the cleanest uh, in terms of grinding, and I'll grind down the spokes right here, and that's where they're that's where they're gonna pop because they're grinded down right here, and they're all bent up, and um, you know that's really bad as well. If that happens, you know, like me, 
you can't just replace you know, in this wheel as well. You can't just, you know, you got three missing on this side, you got three missing on the other side, and then you got spokes here and there throughout the entire wheel, and check it out. You got some hop, it needs to be true. Okay, a lot going on with this wheel, but the thing is, that a lot of these spokes are too short. I'm seeing threads on a lot of these. And you see, I could just turn this with my hand very, very easily. And it's still too short, okay? So one of the big things about those, those spokes being too short is that there's not enough thread contact. And I'll show you. There's not enough thread contact. And you can only get this so tight. You can only get so much tension on this spoke before you strip those threads, okay? And another thing is uh, this hub. You can see there's a little bit of play in it. So I'm gonna see what I could do about that. I th I'm pretty sure it's a sealed, sealed bearing hub. So I don't know exactly what I could do about that, if anything. So I'm pretty sure I rode this hub in the past and um, I had problems with it. But I mean, this, uh, this video and the next one will be um, lacing it up and then showing you guys how to do how to match a, a hub to a rim when something is stock because you can't find uh, you know you can't just call up a distribution company on this hub because it's an eastern stock hub laced to a shadow conspiracy I don't even know what rim got it a while ago I don't even know if no, it's, I don't even know um they still make that model anymore, but with like an eclat hub, like with his back, with an eclat hub like that, um, this eclat rim was an aftermarket thing. You call, you could call up any distribution company that deals them, and they'll be able to tell you right away um, after they look it up, pretty much what size spokes you need. You know, do three X. Um, with this, there's some trial and error with it. Uh, could take you a long time, but I'll show you guys how to go through that. The only thing, uh, if you if you do want to get into that, you know, do want to get into wheels like that, get a spoke ruler or make one. You can make one. They're pretty basic enough to make something like that. You know, just so you could measure uh, if the spokes are the same, because that's pretty much what you're uh, looking to do. You know, the exact measurement. Mm, you know, unless you're like I said, unless you're calling up a. Uh, Unless you're um, gonna call up and ask, and you have tons of spokes on hand, and uh, the exact measurement isn't so important as long as they're uh, all the same. So we'll get started.